What's up? Welcome to yet another episode of Raga Chords. My name is Karthik Sekaran and today we'll be talking about Kamavardini. Sare ma pa ni sa ne pa ma re. So Kamavardini is also known as Bantu Varali in Carnatic music. The Hindustani equivalent would be Puriya Dhanashri uh, under the Purvi thought. So let's talk about the structure of this raga. All you need to do is take the Lydian mode which is Kalyani or Yaman and drop the second and the sixth which is the re and the dha respectively drop them flat. So this is how the arohanam will sound. Sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa Avrohanam is sa ni dha pa ma ga re sa So with this raga and the next few ragas we are entering into a set of ragas which uh, for which it is very difficult to form chords in the way we have been talking so far making triads um you will notice that because of the structure of these ragas making these triads need not necessarily lead to very good sounding very usable chords so we'll have to adopt a different approach there uh, apart from that if you observe songs which are composed in these ragas modern day songs particularly you will notice that they don't have full blown chords playing behind them the instrumentation will be very indian influenced there will be tablas mridangams and uh, or very orchestral percussive uh, instruments and every now and then you will find uh, a plinky plunky note being thrown at you which reinforces the raga or very subtle very gentle chords which are barely there because again it is very difficult so a tanpura might be playing heavily in these ragas so we'll talk about that more uh, so let's jump straight into the chords for this raga and let's see what we can do so uh, as usual i'm going to be uh, working on the key of c so it's a sa pa sa So as I told earlier, Kama Vardhini is basically Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Da Ni Sa Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Ga Re Sa. So let's talk about the chords that we would traditionally or usually make for this. The way we would do it is we would start making triads. So here goes. That's a C major. And then we go. That's a D flat sus four. Okay, that's a D flat, and this is a sus four. This would be a D flat major, but this ma is not there in uh, in Kama Vardhini. So we go here. D flat sus four, and then we come to the E. E would be E minor. then we have a flat 7th and then we have that's a g with a flat 5 this is a this is a g major and the p or the third the fifth note is uh, flattened that's a g flat 5 and then we go that's a dha and a sa weird sounding chord that's an a flat augmented okay a flat augmented and then we go there you go that's a b sus2 and then back to c major so these are very weird sounding very uh, difficult to wrap your head around so here it goes it goes nta See weird sounding chords. I cannot wrap my head around it. Okay, 
you see so it's it's a little difficult to wrap your head around these chords so what i like to do is uh, start making fifth chords and so it's a c5 okay it's a c5 and keep moving that arrangement sa re ga ma pa the arrangement changes here it's again c5 but the inversion is different so so and then it goes pa da ni sa these are all fifth chords so that is one option for you so you go na ra da ra da ra ta ra ra ta ra da ra da ra ta 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 right just an example uh the other thing that you can do is form chords a little differently and but continue to use the same notes that are in this raga so we have sa re ka ma pa da ni sa sa ni da ba ma ga re sa so you go the that's a c major and then i'm not moving this finger that's a c sharp minor sounds nice da da ra and then we go ga e minor and then e sus2 ga ma ga re sa sa re ka ma sounds nice and then we go pa that's again a c major but it's uh, a different inversion with the pa in the bass note so it's a different inversion but the pa because it's in the bass uh, it dominates so you go ga ma pa 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 da you can play this too that's an a flat augmented pa da you can play this also you can go e minor that's an e major pa da some easier to wrap your head around with right so you starting from the bottom again in sa re ga ma pa da ni that's again an e minor ni sa ri sa ni da Let's talk about song examples. Uh, only two songs come to my head: one in Tamil, one in Hindi. Hindi one is very popular from Rangila, A R Rahman classic, uh, Hi Rama. So, take a moment to think about how the song sounds. Right? It has a lot of tabla in it. It has string sections which are playing basically. kind of solos only there are no major chords happening it goes jan 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 something like that right jan 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 dan 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 ta ta ra ta 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 things like that so you see it's it's more solo driven and then uh when the song uh basically plays you have jan 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 jig 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 jan 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 i can't play it that fast so dan 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 dar 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 dan 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 and uh, when the when the song is being sung it, it there is just a tanpura in the background and nothing much happening and just explosive percussion dum dum da something like that some tablas coming in place so you see very indian driven just what i said before very indian a uh, classical sound very orchestral sound so if, if i have to sing it i have to go hai ram aaye kya hua kyu aise hame satane lage tum itni pyari ho samne hum ka wo main kaise rahe jao ko to तेरी 
not quite there because it doesn't happen so much. You know, so much of chords is not happening in that song. Another song is uh, Om Shivoham by Ile Raja. Om Shivoham, Om Shivoham, Rudra Namam Bajeham, Bajeham. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let me see if I can do an improv. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Narada So that was Kamavardhini. You see, it is it is very difficult uh, to play chords for these songs, and the songs that generally we have heard uh, in these ragas are the ones which don't have a lot of uh, chords going on in the background. They are more either bass driven or orchestral strings driven, things like that. So um, I hope these chords help you and. Uh, Try to play around in this raga and um, I would love to hear compositions in this raga because this is one of my absolute favorite ragas, very powerful sounding. Just It just moves me from within. It's, it's just incredible. So uh, growing up, I always used to love when uh, my guru used to tell us to improv in this raga because uh, I could really, really feel this raga. So yeah. So that's all for today and I hope these chords help you uh, compose songs in Kamavardhini. Um, do keep breaking rules in between because that's very important to create interesting pieces of music. So maybe use this as a transition piece or just have a section of your song in this raga and just move on to something totally drastically different. Just some ideas that I'm throwing out. So yeah, so that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next episode. Folk alert.